Hi, welcome to another Divi uh, Body Commerce tutorial. Today we're going to go through variation swatches. So, a variation, so uh, let me just run through quickly. On a variation product, so that's a product with uh, different options, this is the default layout where you have the select boxes. Variation swatches allows you to enhance the, the user experience and make it a bit more appealing, these options. So what we have is we have three different types of various and swatches. We have the label, which is like a button, a color, and image. So if we go over to products, attributes, and in there you can create a new attribute or edit an existing one. I've already set up three uh, attributes, color, material, size. Now, if we edit the color, it's, it's exactly, or well, it's the same as, it has the same settings as if you add a new one. Name, slug, top, default sort order. And if you edit it, you'll see it says name, slug, top, default sort order, and the enable archives. So, currently it's color, and it's a select. Those are the two you kind of need to look at, it's color and select. And if you look on the page, it's color, and it's a select box. If we change it to be color and then save it and reload the page, you'll see it has, well I've already preset these colors but you see how it has, has color boxes to choose from. So how do we get it to show that, that color? I mean it won't, it won't show those colors by default. But if you go back to attributes, so I've set the color as a color type. You see how it's got type of here, color, select, select. If I configure the term, so I have all these different colors set up. And if I edit one, i.e. blue, I can input the hex code or RGB code. So in Photoshop, if you click on, I don't know, this blue over here, get the hex code, I mean that's not blue, that's more purple um, whatever, I'm just gonna <laughs> take this one input, you know, copy the hex code and paste it in here update and then it'll become that color if you go on the home page, or on the front end you'll see how the colors changed I mean obviously that's not blue <laughs> it's more of a purple, but I'm just showing you so you can do green and red would be exactly the same as that green and red. I haven't set the grey and yellow because this product I've only done this blue, green and red options. So at the moment we don't have a color pick over here, uh, but in the future we'll, we will look at adding one. Uh, but I don't really see it being much more of an issue just using a hex code. You can find online you know, if you type in online color picker, you can find the codes there. So it's not, I don't see that much of a, an issue. Material. So material, if we go back to the attributes and we go to the material one, edit the material one at the moment, it's a select. If we use image for this, we can upload uh, colors of the material or whatever we want. So if we configure the terms and I've already set metal and wood. Go to your media library and I've uploaded these two uh, like what do you call them? Textures for metal and wood. We copy the metal skin and go into the so you copy the URL of the image go into edit the metal term, paste it in this image box, update, and you'll see the um, image is there. If we go to the wood one, copy the URL, and edit the wood, paste it in the image box, update, and you will see it now has the wood. So we have material as image, and you got the metal on wood. Let's reload the page and see what it looks like. Yeah, the metal and wood. The final one is size. 
it's I've got it as a select at the moment I can change it to be a label so the final type is a label and the label is simply a button that just has the, the, the text so if I configure the terms instead of having like large medium and small I've done LMS for large medium small just as the names and that will show them as LMS large medium small large medium small and uh, yeah so you can see how you can have the color material and size as all these you know nice swatches in Divi uh, body combo settings if you go to the vari variation swatches tab here we have these two different styles at the moment square and circle so if you click save changes up at the page you'll see the circle it'll be like circles and over here we can change all the settings so the label width and height so I've got to 60 and 60 I mean it looks quite large but I'm gonna leave it like that for now you can make it smaller you can actually even if you have a you can make a rectangle throw them in anyway 60 60 the label background so I wanna do a little little background and text color the color size and heart uh, width and height and the image width and height if we upload if we save that I've, all I've done is just change the background of the the label and there we have it so that's the variation swatches and you see how it fades out when you choose the right one it fades out based on your choices and if you clear it, it all goes back cool so that's how you uh, how you do some custom variation swatches I hope this has uh, helped you in some way if you have any questions please get in touch um, via email or support tickets or even comments below on YouTube we love hearing from you guys this is uh, as, as of you know July 2018 this is the the, the latest addition to our, our uh, features and as we love like hearing about new ideas or new things you want so if you want any any any, any specific feature get in touch we can add it on our to-do list and release it in a future update